The annual Super Bowl breakfast is where faith and football meet. Sponsored by Athletes in Action, the outreach has taken place each year since 1988, drawing sellout crowds to hear some of the sports' biggest names. Names like DeMario Davis of the New Orleans Saints, known for his faith as well as big plays on the field. Ever since we came in, in the league, uh, we, we, we learned about the Super Bowl breakfast and um, saw that it wasn't just about the game, but it reflected um, a life of faith, a life of family, and of football. Highlights of the outreach include messages of hope, complete with a presentation of the gospel. Davis, a 10-year NFL veteran and all-pro linebacker, received last year's Bart Starr Award. It's a huge honor and um, uh, a privilege just to be celebrated, you know, by my, pre my peers, uh, my coaches, and, and, and so many that are uh, critical and uh, such a heavy part of the game. So to, to receive those accolades means a lot. But I think for me, it, it's all um, just reflective of, uh, of the kingdom, you know, and, and, you know, everything that I do is about being a light for the kingdom. I just want to hear well done, my good and faithful servant. Davis's wife, Tamala, says her husband's faith inspires her and their family. One of the things that I just admire is how I constantly just see him seeking God, not just for one thing, but, you know, in every area of his life, you know, for how he's going out on the mission field, for how he um, strives to serve our family. Every day I, I watch him get up and, and read his Bible. In 2019, Davis saw the cost of his faith when the NFL fined him $7,000 for wearing a headband that said man of God under his helmet. While the NFL eventually backed down, public support for Davis helped create a man of God movement. Using the publicity, he sold man of God headbands to raise money for a local hospital. Davis felt it was important to handle the incident in a way that honored God. I didn't want it to be a situation where I wanted to be breaking the rules because the word tells us to submit to authority. But at the same time, I didn't want it to, to seem as I was hiding and mm -hmm. I was just going to bow down to, to, to the lead policy and, and be ashamed of my faith. A faith this lineman attempts to live out every season. When you just trust God and you lean into him, he'll make everything else work out the way that it's supposed to. That doesn't always mean it's going to be hunky dory and it's always going to work out nice and right. you're always going to have you know this <laughs> this amazing you know uh, uh award winning you know type of thing happen but it just means it's going to work out in your favor in the mm -hmm. end charlene aaron cbn news